Hey, chimpanzee, what's up, bro? All right, y'all, here we go. Cool, just another one for a tournament guidebook. Today, we're looking at hand castle. Hand, look at your hand, and castling. Hand castle. We got some bits from Curious Chimpanzee, 200 bits. Thanks, bro. This is the second analysis tonight. We going over hand castle, or hand castle, hand castling. Right, okay, here it is, guys. Here it is. This game is uh, Sam Shanklin versus Jeffrey Zhang. Back in, um, what year was this? Oh, yeah, this is 2019. And this is the U.S. Championship. So, ooh, fire game near U.S. Championship 2019. This one's called the Hand Castle. Let's see what we have. E4, E5. Easy stuff. All right, and we're also going to keep these 10, 15 minutes, 20 minutes max, right, on today's analysis today. All right, because we want to kind of look at just what's going on with the hand castle and a little bit about it. Knight of three, knight to c6. Looks like we got regular stuff, stuff that you actually play as well. All right. Uh, yeah, you did A1 Chemist, but it will be on YouTube. Make sure you um you subscribe to the tube and you can uh, catch the recap from World Championship. That's an engine move cheaters. Yeah. So knight c6, d4. Boom. Playing this little scotchy, a little scotchiness to it. After the scotch, we take on d4. Knight takes, and then in this position, what is a usual Scots move you would make? What's a usual playing from the black side here, guys? I'm sure a lot of you E5ers in the chat, what do you actually play in this position right here? Oh, really? Thanks, Steve. Hey, thanks, Steve. Thanks as usual, Steve. Thanks, Steve. Yeah. So what are we doing, chat? This is a Scotch for the E5 players out there. What do we do? I just pour my scotch. Okay, look at him. He just poured his scotch. Okay. Okay. Knight takes d4. Simon says queen h4. It's us. Queen h4. Knight takes d4. Thanks for the follow, Vigo. Bishop f5. Okay. All right. Oh, you know what, Quantum? I'm going to hit you with one of these. Because you can't even put the bishop on f5. You can't even do that. But I know what you meant, though. Bishop c5. I know what you meant. Uh, I love the Scots. Okay, I love C5. Maybe I thought it was Queen E7 or something weird. Yeah, Queen E7 is actually pretty gross, and it is something weird. In fact, is this move right here, Queen F6? That's a big dog move, Queen F6. Oh snap! I mean, because he's it's just strange looking, and it's hitting the knight. So he put his knight back on B3, and then right now, what's the next move, chat? Keep it going. Queen looking all weird on f6 now. Can't develop your knight to f6. All right, cool. But you need to develop, though. You still need to develop. You need to get your pieces out the back rank. What do we do now? Do you have a move? Or are you going to sit here and you're going to look absolutely crazy? Garbage. Okay. Bishop c5 right now. You want bishop c5? Okay, I see a bishop c5. He said, never mind. No, no. Come here. Come here. Yep. Hey, listen closely. Garbage. Yep. You get one of those. Absolutely. Come on. Yep. I've never done that before, but listen, yeah, dark square saber out. Okay. Okay. Sorry, by the way, I'm playing chess, trying to finish this game. I was in real quick. Okay. Knight h6, d6 from a1 chemist. What else we got? I'm take a sip of my brain fuel. Make sure you don't get that. Oh, that's a honey elo. My goodness. Every set. Thank you. And d6, bishop d7, castle queen side. Okay. d6, bishop d7, castle queen side. d5. All right, so here's the move, chat. I hope y'all ready for this. Here's the move. It's, it's not the easiest. It is a very strange looking move, but very cool. Here it is. Y'all ready? Here we go. Queen g6. <laughs> wow. Wow. Wow, he played queen f6 and queen g6, hitting the pawn, and then you can't move this, and I can move my knight to f6 now. As strange as this is, it has a lot of merit to this move. After queen g6, f3. First off, fine go tripping. Bruh. Why is this on f3? What are you doing? But it makes sense. It defends. Cool. Okay, nice little pawn structure, and you can't go bishop z5. If you could go here, then this would be 100% absolute premium to get the man off the board. If I could go here, but I can't. I can't. So it makes total sense. So after F3, Knight F6, develop, because I have to develop in every opening that you play. You're going to have to develop pieces. 
XTD, thanks for the follow. Fango just spat out his Perrier. Perrier. Ooh, Perrier. And then Bishop at, Bishop at four hitting C7. All right. So uh, what do you do now? Black to move. It's not the simplest. Not the simplest. It's black to move. This was a sweet move, too. Like, Jeffrey, I don't know. I mean, he prepped this. He figured this boy out. Very sweet. This is a very sweet move that Jeffrey played. I was a big fan of this. And I was a big fan of this entire game is black, uh, from the black side. But what do you do now? So, Dante, knight takes e4. Wow, okay, that's spicy. Knight takes e4. Isn't it just knight takes e4? Dang, that's spicy, chat. F3. Knight takes e4 again. Okay, chat, I see ya. You say don't play F3, Dante. That's what's up. I was saying the same thing. Knight takes e4. Wow, knight takes e4. You know what, chat, man. Y'all like, y'all getting better out here. Yeah, getting better, man. It's just amazing. Man, it's amazing how garbage, garbage. that is. That's disgusting. Garbage. That don't work for nothing. Get the man off garbage. the board. This is disgusting. Get him out of here. Wow. Pawn takes and then queen takes. You thought you was going to get the little bishop, huh? Oh, you thought you was getting your little piece back. Oh, that's cute. That's cute. And queenie too. And what do you do? Bruh. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Thank you. Appreciate the love. Appreciate the generosity. Give me uh, everything. You can trade him now. You can resign. You can resign, in fact. Right. So, knight takes e4 doesn't work. In fact, here's the move right here. He played this move. Bishop to b4 check. That's a nasty one. Like, bishop b4? What is this? Bishop b4 check doesn't even seem... It seems weird. Doesn't he just play c3? Right? Because he can. He can just play c3 here. He can't just play c3. To be honest, I mean, he really can't. But he didn't. He wanted to maybe put his knight here and kick a3. Maybe he wanted. Maybe he didn't want to push it twice. But here's the move right here, and this is our today's analysis: is king f2 with the hand castle. This right here is uh, is the, the most important part of today's lesson. Is the is the the hand castle when? Let's flip the board here. When this happens to you. First off, we all know everything is about checkmate. Checkmate in the king. This is what we want. This is why we play the game. That's the objective. Checkmate in the king. So at all costs, you should keep him safe by means of, for instance, uh, a move like how Jeffrey does here. So let's look at this king. And let's castle or let's actually flip the board and look at it from Black's point of view. We're going to get out the way and have a nice day. We call that a castle. And now the king is defended and looking very nice and just safe. Safe. We make the king safe. Then we start attacking. On the contrary, in the reverse here. White needs to castle, but you can't. Your casting rights are gone from moving your king or, you know, being checked and moving your king or, you know, taking moving your king early, whatever reason, casting through or in check, out of check. You can't do that, right? So the king needs to be safe. Dark square is kind of shaky, but I have him kind of under control. So my plan should be move the bishop, move the rook, get the king, tuck the king, tuck and roll. I'm out of here. Get him, get the man like away from everything, right? You know, oh, real quick. So after castles, in fact, what he plays here, which is uh, quite strange. And uh, we say strange here is because he wasted time. White wasted time here. Remember, the plan should be bishop move, move to rook, king, g1. Bro, don't play around because as the position opens up, as things start to happen, you need to hand castle, right? So you need to play this, right? If a d6, you see a d6 or something happen. You know, I don't care about none of this. I'm going to play Rook F1, maybe. Rook F1, I'm going King G1, and I'm and I'm out of here. I'm gone. I'm I'm going back home. Like, I am literally about to go back to the crib so fast. It don't make sense, right? You have to be very, very careful. What's the downfall of white playing C3 after the check? It's not, the downfall is that the knight can't go to C3, right? And sometimes you probably want to go here. Maybe go to D5, or really. I mean, you could just easily. I probably would. Me, I would have played C3. Because I'm like, I want the tempo. I'm a fan of tempi, or multiple tempos, right? I'm, I'm a fan of having the extra move. So if I can get a tempo for free, I'm definitely down. So C3 is my favorite, uh, was, is, is what I would play. But after castles, he plays A3 and it wastes time. Garbage. It wastes time, even though it looks great. It's tempo here. But, but Jeffrey's next move highlights the fact that, oh, it's about to get crazy through here, my guy. I hope you're ready. Bishop B7. Wow, here we go. Here we go. Let me flip the board. Here we go. And then after Bishop D3, 
which now he's trying to get it. Now he's trying to, you know, do the thing in castle, right? But the hand castle, remember when you're trying to hand castle, it needs to be like the first thing you do in plans. Here it is. It's black to move. What do you do, chat? It's on you. By the way, black is about to play E5 on you and hit you one time across the face with your queen right there. So it is black to move. What do you do here? What up, K? Thanks for the follow. Shanklin booked to the T in this tournament, especially if I read correctly yet. Yeah, yeah. He, he booked to the T full life. Shanklin is. Dante, what's up? What is the move here now, chat? How is black not winning? This dumb cry wolf. Yeah, right. Knight h5 from PT. We got a knight h5 in the chat. Knight h5 again. Samba. Two for knight h5. Three for knight h5 from Indy. Queen h5 from Elevation. Move the queen. Only square is h5. Okay, pretty good. So, in fact, it is knight h5. You're very limited. So, knight h5 was the move he chose. If e5 happens, you can actually just play queen e6 and move out of the way, right? And you could play queen h5. Queen h5 does make, I mean, it makes sense here, but g4 is kind of annoying. It really is because your queen has to go on h3 and you're literally almost trapped. Luckily, you can get away. I mean, you are just, all, you are escaping by the skin of your teeth right now. You are literally somehow able to escape. Is this mating? I mean, this like this is terrible, right? Like, how many times you move your queen, right? So you gotta be very careful with that. So knight h5 at least gives you another square this way, laterally. Like you want this. So here e5. Now we got queen e6, and then you could take this. This is hanging now, so it's a little bit better, more more room and activity. So bishop takes c7, and he out here tripping. When your king is out here and, and you're not hand castled, you should not be out here going to grab pawns. Garbage. Okay, you in some trouble. He grabbed his pawn. Yes, this is not a typo. He took this pawn. Jeffrey just said, okay, well, you ain't getting up out of there. And then after e5, it looks all tactical, right? He thought he had it all figured out. Bishop takes d6. I'm hitting your queen. You got to move your queen, right? He got to move his queen, right? Right, chat? Black to move. What do you do? What do you do about this, chat? Now we move the queen, right, elevation? Are we, move, are we moving the queen or not? What's the move, chat? Elevation says Bishop H4. A1 Kim says Bishop H4. Bishop H4. Butner says Bishop H4. Bishop H4. Dang, chat. Wow, everybody's right. Bishop H4, check. Flex real hard, chat. That's a real hard flex from the chat right now. Bishop H4, check is correct. And after King F1, because G3 looks absolutely ridiculous, you actually take with the bishop, not the knight, because your queen's hanging. And then h takes, queen takes, king e3, and you're, you're king out in the middle of the street in the wilderness looking crazy right now, right? And queen g5, queen check here, you know, and, and this would be a draw. I mean, you could probably try to play on maybe f5 too, and you probably could have took a perpetual. But if black tries to play on, it would be this route. King f1, no play from Shanklin. Okay, after king f1, queen h6, got to move the queen, stuff looking crazy. He still hasn't hand castled, so this ain't looking good. Remember, we were supposed to hand castle. So after queen h6, e takes d6. He takes those, gets out the way. After the e takes d6, black just gets the rook to the file with a smile, with rook to e1 being a move. So he plays knight c3 and says, go ahead. Hey, man, I'll take, I'll take the extra pieces. Single file on the h file, right? <laughs> single file line, everyone. Everyone in a single file line, right? One at a time. <laughs> it looks crazy over here. Knight c3, and then he he could go rookie one. But, I mean, this is not the greatest. Like, you're giving up a lot of material for the queen. And you, here, he actually, engines give this as zeros. You know, as but as a human, you probably, black could be favorited. But he didn't go for this. Jeffrey said, I'm not a fan. I don't really need to do that. So, knight f4 happened. And now, after this knight f4 move, I mean, sorry, not knight f4. Knight to c5. After knight c5, you got to look around the board here. We have to realize something. Well, first off, there's a lot of activity going on. White isn't really fully developed. And his king is sort of in the center. Maybe it's off center, but it's not castled. And the rooks aren't connected. Right. You know, there's a lot going on here. There is a lot going on. So the king did not able, well, he wasn't able to hand castle and is black to move. So what do you actually do? Whole squad with the edge guard. Facts, bro. Facts. 
Exactly. So now it's black to move. What do you do now? Shaq? Can you find the move? Would you count rook h1 in your piece calculations? This is stuff. Yeah, kind of because of this. Because of maybe there could be something. He says queen e2. What is black to move here? Queen e3 from chat. Okay, queen e3. Queen e3. Knight g4. What else we got? What else we got? Anything else? Queen e3s. Knight f4. Okay, so bringing another piece in. So everybody's just trying to attack. This is very nice. Very nice, chat. Very nice. All these moves are moves. Queen e3, knight f4. Knight g4 is uh, it's still a move, actually. It is a move. Um, first of all, thanks for the follow. But the move that Jeffrey chose here, knight c4, that, that one, I mean, you're giving up a little bit extra here. You're giving up a little bit extra. You're giving up a little bit too much. That with that one. But here's the move. Believe it or not, Jeffrey played this move right here. Knight takes f3. Oh, my goodness. Dang. Because your king out here looking crazy. Number one, Fango said don't play F3, right? Or F6. Like, what are you doing? Then you couldn't hand castle. You play King F2. You didn't hand castle. Now after Knight takes F3, you looking crazy. You blocking with your whole face now. Hey there, it was nice to meet you at the tournament today. Yo, oh what up, bro? Yeah, yeah, nice to see you, man. Yeah, so we back doing some analysis here. And after Knight takes F3, it's a rapster looking crazy looking absolute crazy right now so okay let's see what happens on queen takes f3 on queen takes f3 what happens after queen takes f3 what happens after queen takes f3 what do you think happens man this is nasty like <laughs> that is a strong move bro sheesh he said queen d2 Jeez, queen d2 from elevation. Queen d2 from Samba. Queen d2 from Samba. So actually the move here is rook e3. I mean, queen d2 actually looks good, but you can just get blocked by any one of these pieces and you are here looking uh, crazy. Garbage. Yeah, I'm getting him out of here. So rook e3 is the move. And then the queen's very short on spaces. So if you try to go to the center of the board, you just get made it. <laughs> you get made. It. Right. So it doesn't work. It's about bigger threats, right? If you can. But um, so let's see what happened. He brought the knight to the center. This got a little bit more crazy. We're going to fly through some moves here to keep it time savvy. So bishop g4. He played bishop g4, which, uh, of course, this one actually made it equal, believe it or not. Looks like a great move. And just said the best move was just move the knight. But like bishop g4, like come on now. When you got a chance to play this kind of move, why wouldn't you? So bishop g4 and d7 happen, making everything equal. According to the engine. And um, that's exactly what I said. I said equal. Garbage. Bro, are you kidding me? Equal what? Bruh. Bro, this is game over for white. I'm crushing this. But after d7 and rook to e5, very crazy looking move. This game is nuts. What is this? There's a rook on e5, the king can castle, there's a knight hanging. There's a pawn about the queen. All my pieces are on the eight. <laughs> like, <laughs> this is not how you play chess. You don't show this to no students. You don't even understand it yourself. It's a crazy looking game. It's ridiculous. Bishop takes e5, knight takes e5, and queen d2. But we do know who you would rather be, right? Yeah, this game is, nat is nuts. You do know who, who you would rather be, though. You would rather be black in this position. All the pieces are active, right? We have this pawn on, on lock here. Oh, that's funny. We have this pawn on lock. And his king still wasn't able to hand castle. It wasn't able to hand castle. So queen c6, he moves it out of the way. We're not trying to, like, trade queens at all. Not trying to trade queens. h3 happens. He takes on d7, getting rid of this pawn because it's kind of annoying. And the rest was a little bit of technique here. Knight takes, knight takes, queen c3, queen h6. Defending, right, really wasn't really attacked here, but also threatening queen f4, maybe even queen d2, rook e8. Stuff like this. g4. And then after g4, uh, I think he could just move. Oh, he played f5. I forgot about this. Look, what? Like, <laughs> bro, do you see this move? Like, 
Yo. Bruh. <laughs> he played. Bro, he played F5 right here. I forgot that I was there. I literally forgot he played F5. What's up? What's good? Uh, Minik. Minik. What's up? This should be a public service announcement on why you should castle. Correct. Family always castle. F5 is gross. Engine just says, play simple, bro. Queen F4 and you have no problems. F5 actually makes everything equal, believe it or not. Wow. After captures, F5 was crazy, apparently. <laughs> F5? Like, F5, okay. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, F5. Queen E3 now. Uh, defend, uh, attacking F2. He was styling on. He really was. Rook G2. Let's just see the last few moves here. Knight F4. Oh, yeah. And then this got a little bit strange here. Like, this, were, there were so many wins, I'm assuming. There were so many ways you could win. But this is how it ended. He had some checks. And he kept checking and kept checking. Got the bishop around. Played Queen G3 check. King H1. Queen F3 check. And, like, then there was a little bit of a, a maneuver, right? You see how long this took? This took 41 moves, actually, here. And then Rook E4 to end it right here on the spot, which was this is nasty because Rook G4 is coming. And you can't take because this is pinned. And we have the third piece we need. Knight can't take. Very nice. Was this a classic game? This was. This was U.S. Championship 2019. U.S. Championships 2019. Right. This was a Sham Shanklin versus Jeffrey Zhang. But again, the, the, the key takeaway from today is like if your king gets out here looking. First off, you, you want to stay away from this if you, if you can. But the problem is if you can't, you need to focus on nothing but getting the king to safety first. And then everything else is later. Everything else you can do later. Everything else. So make sure you guys at home are hand castling.